back when I was a senior in high school, I've always kind of had the uh, intention of going to the University of Missouri. It was also that or nothing for me, really. I love Mizzou, just being so close to here from my house, only 30 minutes away. So the way that worked my senior years, I sent off my parents, and we decided was I was going to go for as long as my scholarships went, and then we'd see at that point what I wanted to do. Well, I came home one day and got a letter in the mail that I want a full ride. <laughs> so that kind of made up the decision for me that, yeah, I was going to go to school because I had it paid for. So I've been going there now. And with that, I've been able to use what I learned there to help grow my business. Whenever I get done, I can really run with it and actually grow it a lot more than where it is now. The story behind Stanton Brothers all kind of goes back to the first grade. Uh, in 1999, the 4-H had an incubation project where we had six baby chicks that we incubated. At the end of the project, one of the kids got taken chickens home. And I really wanted those chicks really bad. So I had my name in the drawing to get them, and I was the only one to have it to so the very last day. And another girl put her name in. She ended up wanting the chicks, and I came home pretty disappointed. My uncle was there, though. He saw me, uh, saw that I was crying at that time. Uh, he bought me six baby chicks the next day, and that's kind of how it started, as an allowance at that time. And from there, it grew. Well, from those six chicks, uh, in 07, 2007, we started going to the farmer's market and selling retail. And from that retail, we expanded to wholesale. Now we have 12,000 laying hens, a supply of over 40 different weekly outlets here in the mid-Missouri and Kansas City area. Uh, and a few of those are, for example, the University of Missouri, Columbia College, the High V's, the Isle of Capri, and other numerous nursing homes, bakers, grocery stores, restaurants, you name it. Uh, going to school and balancing this business can be pretty difficult at some times. I have to be able to keep my grades up, as well as continue to study for tests, exams, homework, writing essays, going to class itself, uh, taking notes, learning lectures. And then when I come home, I don't have time to do any of that stuff. So for me, it's really where Columbia is where I study a lot, else, you know, in Cornell or in the classroom. And then when I come home, it's more business. Make sure everything's staying caught up and not falling behind. A typical day when I'm not in school, uh, it starts getting up in the morning, going out, uh, feeding the chickens, doing that for the first time, going through gathering the eggs, and then coming back later and doing more gathering. That's pretty much all day, just that job. But then also there's the washing of the eggs and the egg washer, the drying, the boxing, the grating, the sorting, and then from there going to the refrigerator and cooler. There's also the sales calls you have to make, clients you have to contact. So you have to be able to split that up and separate that, get it all done.